Hello everybody, Vagrin Gaming. So someone asked me a question about messing with your operations frames in the, um, in the interface editor. So I figured I'd, this is the first run at trying to do it. So if you hit the escape key or you can hit the game menu here, the, the two cogs, that'll bring up your options and second to the last one, second from the bottom is interface editor. So there's a lot of stuff here. Um, it could be very, you can get overwhelmed by all the stuff on the screen very easily. But for what we're doing, we want operations frames. So we're going to click over here. Now, under operations frames, you get a little box down here. So, first off, you want to make sure that says enabled, which if I just clicked on it, it should be there. And let's see here. As far as making them bigger and whatnot, this is the meat and potatoes of what you want. Now, I have groups per row three. So you should see, um, I think there's um, eight. So, you know, it's not actually showing up, so I'm <laughs> drawing a complete blank on what it normally looks like. Either way, groups of three is fine. Vis groups visible is six. Now, if you want to make them larger, this is what you want. Health width and health height. This will make the bars longer, and this will make the bars thicker. And just for preference, I put on show only removable debuffs, which isn't as important for me because I don't play healer classes. I'm just not good at it. And then show health text, which is helpful because if I'm tanking, I want to know just how hurt somebody is to, in the, for the purpose of swapping guard. So I like to have these fairly large. You can't see them at the moment. They're not showing up. I'm not sure if there's an option in here to get them to show up for when you're just editing. But the defaults, they're pretty small, so I I buff them up pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Let's get the height to 30. There. And let's save. And then what will happen is, next time I get into a war zone, you should see a big set of thick um, bars over there on the side. So um, this will be part one, and in part two, once I get a war zone pop, I'll get into a war zone, and then you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. And yeah, hopefully that'll work. Alright, stay tuned for part two. Okay, so here's part two. I'm going to enter this war zone. And hopefully, you'll see some big thick health bars on the left side. That'll be really easy to read. Let's see if I messed it up or not. Alright, so, as you can see, the health bars are, they're a good size, but let's just double check on them real quick. Operations frames, and if we scroll down again to, you know, when it says groups, scale, party spacing, groups per row, three, let's go to four. Oh, okay, so this is like, if you're on like an operation or, um, in, if it's just like a, a full-on op and not necessarily a war zone. You can have a ton of health bars, say if you're going to do a group boss or something like that. Um, ooh, I think three is what I want. Groups visible six is fine. And as you can see here, as I click on width, they get longer, and then height, which I have no problem having them being really, really large. Just move that over to the left a little bit. And save. So yeah, again, real quick, um, yeah, I got 36 seconds. So. Either you click on these two cogs, or you hit escape, second from the bottom, interface editor. The operations frame is normally the big block on the left, so you just click on that, and you can scroll down and make whatever modifications you need to it. And by all means, um, save the one you have, and then just tool around with it and give it an alternate name. That way you can switch back and forth if, if you mess up. I'm just wrapping this up. So he's putting it on himself, all right. So yeah, I mean, I'm not really going to record this match because I just switched this guy from DPS to tank and I'm just still trying to figure out how it works and I don't have the right gear or anything. So, so anyway, that's how you get your bar set up. Hope it helps.